to your health, sponsored by Agape Care. While the coronavirus can be deadly for adults, it's often mild in children, but that wasn't the case for an Ohio infant. Tonight, we introduce you to a baby who survived a rare life-threatening complication of COVID-19. Lauren Grant, a nurse and COVID-19 survivor, thought she'd seen the worst of the virus until daycare texted her this photo of her five-month-old daughter, Madeline. Her hands and feet were blue. And so I went and picked her up and I noticed that she was having some more rapid respirations. Madeline, who'd recently recovered from COVID-19, was transported to Cleveland Clinic Children's by ambulance. It was absolutely terrifying. Um, first, my first instinct as a mother was what's going on. And my second instinct as a nurse is she's not getting enough oxygen. And my husband and I were just sitting there sobbing um, because we just didn't know if she was going to make it or not. Tests revealed Madeline's heart was inflamed and racing. So normally for a baby, their heart rates are anywhere from 100 to mid 100s at, at rest. Hers was over 200 um, and it was going up to about 240 to 260. Madeline was diagnosed with a rare COVID complication called multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children or MISC. A lot of the body's reaction to the previous infection causes it to ramp up and cause lots of inflammation and kind of get stuck. About 24 hours after receiving steroids and an antibody therapy to reduce inflammation, Madeline's condition improved. She was smiling again. Um, you know, she was kind of moving around a little bit more and it really kind of gave my husband and I some hope. After 10 days of ups and downs in the hospital, Madeline is doing well at home. Her mother is encouraging parents to keep a close eye on children, especially if they've recently fought coronavirus. I feel like we were really lucky in that sense that Maddie didn't have to be put on a ventilator. And I think what, from what I've read so far is catching this early enough so that it doesn't get to that point. And that's why it's super important to be able to recognize these symptoms in kids.